Yeah, uh, first of all, I just want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, it's, God's been doing a really special thing with every one of these young men um, as they limp up here. Right? Uh, he's done such incredible things uh, in all these guys' lives. Uh, I'm, I'm most proud this year of how much they've all matured as men and um, how much their care factor for each other has grown and I thought in the second half that showed in the way they played. Okay, we remind you if you've got a question, please raise your hand. We'll get a wireless microphone to you. Please state your name and affiliation. Eric Henry, 24-7 Sports. Coach, question for you, Coach. Uh, you played this team about a month ago down in Austin and you, I said Dylan DeSue had 20 points. What was the game plan coming into tonight to really kind of limit DeSue and his effectiveness? You know, I, I don't know that we'd limited Dylan DeSue. I think he got in foul trouble and so he didn't get to play as uh, many minutes. Um, he only played 22 minutes this game. Um, we did have, I mean, he's a first team all-conference guy, so obviously there was a, a lot of attention paid to him. Uh, there, but um, you know, it was just sometimes uh, foul trouble causes uh, that for a young man. Over here on the left on the front row. Uh, question for both players Day Day Ames comes in, gives you an electric second half. How much of a boost was that for you guys? Who would you like to answer that first? And please give us your affiliation again. No, nah, that has been huge for us, you know, even in practice, you know, he's just always had that dog in him and for him to come out here and, you know, perform on a big stage. I'm super proud of my guy. It's just a tip of the iceberg for a really good player. Um, everybody knows how I feel about David. Day -Day. Um, super proud of him. And uh, like like Art just said, it's just the tip of the iceberg for him to play in a, the, his first big 12 tournament game and to have zero turnovers like you, you, don't, you don't get that from a freshman too many times, and for him to stay poised the way he did, couldn't be more proud of him. Question here on the left on the second row. David Smale, Field Level Media. Uh, for either of the players, doesn't matter which one, just talk about the start of the second half. You scored the first seven, and the, you were in the game the rest of the way. Just talk about that. Uh, just, just going in the locker room and, and Coach Tane telling us that we got to get back to being us. Uh, the biggest thing coming into us, uh, we knew we didn't want to beat ourselves. And so just getting back to being grit and grimy and uh, coming out and just playing harder than them. And uh, we think we, we let them get away in the first half by them playing harder than us, and that's just not who we are. Um, we're not going to out-talent anybody. So we got to be the hardest working team um, and the hardest playing team. And uh, we had to get back to that in the second half. Okay, we're on the left here in the front row. Scott Fritchin, Kansas State. Guys, I was just curious if you could put in the words just the emotions you guys are feeling right now coming off that big win. It's not done. It's not done yet. Like, it's not over. We still got games to win. But uh, I'm glad that we got this one out of the way. But we're just focused on to the next game. Did you want biggest, Tyler to answer too? Biggest one is tomorrow. Um, we can't. You get to enjoy this one for the next couple of hours, and then we got a, the number 17 team in the country to, uh, on the same floor as us. So. Uh, we got to respect them just like we did when they came to uh, Kansas a couple of days ago. And so uh, we got to bring the fight to them. Okay, we're back here on the second row. Coach, just oh, talk about Iowa State. Um, with their rested tonight, you guys have a quick turnaround talking about what you're expecting tomorrow against Iowa State. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a – go and uh, just enjoy this with the guys for a few minutes and then we'll lock in on Iowa State. Um, obviously, they've had a great year. Um, they're going to probably be a two seed in the NCAA tournament and uh, you know, one of the best defensive teams in our league. So, and they pride themselves on all the things that we pride ourselves on too. So um, just TJ does a great job with his program. So I I'm just happy we get a chance. Here in front row. Yeah, Kelly Chubnett, Kansas City Star again. Jerome, what, in what areas have you seen Day Day improve the most, you know, since he first got here on campus to now that he's playing more like a sophomore than a freshman? Um, in all areas, right? He's, he's learning how to, you know, play with pace, you know, and uh, not just one speed. Uh, today in transition, I saw him look up and see numbers and pull it back and it ended up getting us an easy bucket because he didn't just go attack one on two. Um, you know, so you just, you see growth every day in him. I'm just, just really proud of him. The thing I know is that he's not afraid. 
Like he's not ne- never afraid, and that, that that's what I love about him. We're gonna go one here on about the fifth row back, and then we'll come back to the front. Sam McDowell, the Kansas City Star. Drum, just wonder if you could speak to uh, the, the defensive effort in the second half. Was that part of the ha- the halftime message, and uh, just generally speaking, or was there some specifics that you really thought that the guys locked in on? Well, I thought uh, Coach Malagy uh, put a great game plan together and what we wanted to do to be able to slow them down. And uh, in the first half, I didn't think that we were executing it the way we needed to. Um, and you know, I just told the guys the team that was beating us was in our locker room. It wasn't the dudes on the other side. And if we could get the team, you know, <laughs> get get ourselves out of our own way, then we would have a chance in the second half. And and they did it. And so. Let's go to the TV platform in the back, and then we'll come back to the front. Coach Glenn Kinley, KSNT 27 News. Um, I'm curious, you had a hug with Brett Yormark as you were going to the tunnel. Was there anything said in that moment, or what did it mean just for him to acknowledge that you guys got a big win? Yeah, no, it means a lot. We have a great commissioner who is, man, he's on it, right? Like, he is very in tune with what's going on um, across the country with a- athletic-wise and uh, – you know, and then what, what we need uh, to help our um, conference uh, not just be the best conference in the country, but be, because, uh, you know, you're, uh, there's a saying, like, you don't just, you just want to be better than everybody else. You want to be one that stands alone. And I believe we can have a conference that stands alone, and he's the kind of leader that can get us there. And so uh, the fact that he's so personable and so forward-thinking, uh, it means a lot. You had quite the moment with Jareem heading to the locker room there. You guys were both fired up. Just curious what, what that guy means to you and what were the emotions in that moment? Um, <clears throat> it's like my big brother. Uh, you know, it, he's the reason that I'm here, him and Coach Tang. And, um, you know, uh, I know he wants this moment, you know, just as much as I do and the rest of our team do. And um, I couldn't be more thankful for that guy. I don't, I don't tell him enough, but, you know, um, I couldn't be more thankful for him for what he's done in my life, and we we have a big brother little brother uh, relationship, and uh, it's it's I'm just blessed to be in his presence because y'all nobody has no clue the stuff he does behind the scenes and the type of coach he is, and uh, I know he's always on his phone and putting it on social media, but nobody really knows what he's doing, and so uh, like I'm blessed to have somebody like that in my life, and that's a long time long time person I can call. I believe we got one here in the front row. Yeah, Scott Fritchin, Kansas State again. For each of the three of you, I was wondering if you could put in the words exactly what the crowd was like tonight. It seemed like there was a good turnout of Kansas State contention out there. You want coach to go first? No, I want the players to go first. Okay. I mean, felt like we was playing at a home game. You know what I'm saying? It was we and KC. Everybody came through, and uh, it's just love from the fans. I'm glad they was able to come out and support us today. We need them. Um, got the best fans in the world, and I truly believe that. And uh, when they ride with us, I uh, feel like we're invincible. So uh, we need them just as, uh, just as much as they want to see us play. Uh, we, we appreciate them so much. So hopefully they in here again tomorrow and uh, get us going again. Yeah, I like to tell them to you know, go buy up those tickets that people are getting rid of and uh, come on, come support us tomorrow because we really need you. Got another one here in front row. Kelly Shabnat, Kansas City Star. One more for you, Jerome. You said you wanted this game to be a rock fight, but then you score 49 points in the second half. Just how fulfilling is that, that, you know, when the initial game plan isn't there, you find another way to win? Yeah, no, it, it was great, but I still think, I mean, in the second half, they shot 29% uh, from two and 26%, 27% from three, you know, and, and then we got to the free throw line, you know, and to me, those are the, we had more pain points than they did. You know, that, 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 was, that was what I wanted to see, you know, and... Uh, you know, it helps when some shots go in, but, you know, I, I thought us living in the paint was the kind of grittiness I was looking for. Okay, we've got time for two more. Let's go over here to the left. Arnie Green from Topeka Capital Journal. Uh, two turnovers in the second half. What was it What was it you did so well in the second half? I stopped turning the ball over. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> one, one more. Anybody want it? Okay, Coach. Here we go. Go, Cats. God bless.